Well, what's going on everybody? Wacko Backo here. So continuing on with Scarlet and Violet base set. We had a huge opening yesterday, kind of revealed some of the products that I got in. These were some of them. And uh, yeah, we opened up 20 single sleeve blisters yesterday and we absolutely killed it. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out that video, it's a little bit of a long one, but uh, it's well worth the watch. Trust me, definitely an amazing first start. Um, so these are the booster bundles. These are not the pre-release kits, even though they look just like it. Uh, I am working on trying to get some of those because I want the promos, obviously, but uh, uh, I watched some people's content yesterday, and uh, yeah, just, oh no, I'm sorry, not yesterday, um, no, not yesterday, <laughs> in between the last recording and this one, I'm doing this one early, but uh, yeah, so uh, trying to get the pre-release kits, same style, but they have four packs and the promos, this have six packs, so we have 12 packs total. Um, let's try our luck with these here. Again, six packs there. Uh, hopefully we get some good pulls out of these. I still have three pack blisters to go through. I have ETBs to go through. Uh, and then when I get those pre-release kits, obviously we'll knock those out as well. Um, yeah, I feel like we had some really, really good luck and a very, very good start. Um, so something else I noticed, and I'm just going to do this. I, I didn't really figure out if these code cards are any different. Oh, let me give it away first. Uh, so I'm just going to leave this here. We'll try our luck. Uh, one energy to the front. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and try it out again. Like, I just I opened up some extra packs that I had yesterday. Um, just tried it out for myself, and I couldn't really tell the difference. I was still getting hits with both the regular code card and the other one. So let's try our luck here. Silicobra as the first reverse. Skiddo as the second. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Toxicroak EX. I'll gladly take that. It's really cool seeing the EX is back. I was kind of skeptical initially because, um, I don't know, the X and Y ones, maybe I just didn't get enough of them or I kind of got late in that generation. But, uh, yeah, um, I'm really liking these ones so far. Um, and I'm interested to see, um, you know, how they evolve from there. <laughs> Funny, I use Evolve. But, uh, yeah, uh, again, a lot of really good pulls early on, and I'm super excited about it. And hopefully that continues on here and with all the other stuff. Um, it's cool, though. Again, it's a new generation, so um, still getting used to the silver border, still getting used to these awesome reverses. But, um, again, no real complaints so far. I'm really enjoying everything. So let's see. So we had the first reverse is the Judge. Second reverse is Palmy. And behind it is a Don Dozo. All right, very, very nice. Uh, remember, there are hollows or higher in every single one of these packs now. It's not like a... A specialty set like we used to see with Sword and Shield and Sun and Moon and X and Y. Um, no, so we get um, a hollow or higher in every pack. So you can get pulls in the second to last slot and the last slot, uh, which is kind of neat. Um, it, it's been really great so far. So Heracross is the reverse. Nice, let's go. Let's go. Second gold card already. Kind of spoiled yesterday's opening if you didn't catch it. If you didn't catch it, that's on you. Nest Ball, uh, triple gold star rarity. So the other thing I saw, and someone correct me if I'm wrong, um, they're not calling them secret rares. They're calling everything that's three star a hyper rare, which is kind of cool. Let's see if we have anything behind it. Ooh, we do have a hit behind it. Oh, nope, just regular hollow. Um, but uh, yeah, so let me pull this up real quick once I sleeve this up, just so you can see. Or I won't be able to pull it up on screen, but I'll kind of read through it real quick. Um, all the different rarities. As you guys can see, the rarities from the packs go in order. So from least rare to most rare. Um, and again, you can get crazy pulls like that in that second to last slot um, and the last slot, which is absolutely insane. But let me grab this real quick, or at least pull this up on my computer. Just scroll over real quick. Just minimize that. Do this over here. Bleep, bloop, bleep. And there we go. So here it is. So you have your commons, which are obviously your, your circles, your uncommons or your diamonds. Uh, and then your reverses, right? So you have regular reverse hollows, and then that's obviously going to depend on the rarity. And then you have what you call an illustrator rare, which is your one gold star. Your special illustrator rare, or the art rares, that's what I'm going to call them, uh, are two gold stars. Hypers are three gold stars. And then you have your rare as a black star. Double rare is two black stars. And then ultra rare is two silver stars. So... Uh, again, I know it's a bit different than what we've had in the past, but uh, obviously they made some changes to kind of mirror up with the Japanese side of the house. 
Um, so as you look here again, just a rare, just regular black star. Here, two black stars, so that's gonna be your double rare. Um, so EXs are double rares now. And here is your three gold stars, so that's gonna be your hyper rare. So again, the names, you know, you can call it whatever you want. Obviously, you know, if we have rainbows, I'm still gonna call them rainbow rares or hypers. Um, but uh, just so you guys can see a little bit of the, the name change or how they label things in this gen. Um, again, call it whatever you want. As long as you're having fun and you're pulling cards and, uh, yeah, just enjoying yourself. That's all that matters, right? So here we go. One to the front. I'm really liking that. It definitely reminds me of opening up Japanese stuff, which is super exciting. Let's see what we have here. We have Penny. We have Shepard as the first reverse. Nice. Let's go. Another. Uh, so this gold, one single gold star is your illustrator rare or the art rares. On the Japanese side, we have Don Dozo as the art rare and his little... Uh, goldfish buddy there and behind it is professor's research hollow very very nice so we're doing really really well uh, and again this is only the first box uh, of this brand new generation and the scarlet and violet base set um, it's going to be a crazy generation if you guys thought sword and shield was awesome um, which i think majority of the sword and shield sets were um, you're always going to have some duds but uh i don't know i feel like these packs here just give the the Oh, see, there's the little guy there. Um, they give the the person so much more you can get out of it, especially when it comes to, like, your reverses. Um, let me set that down for a second. Um, your reverses, you know what I mean? Especially for those going for master set or you just like collecting the reverses, you have an opportunity to get so many more now per pack. Um, yeah, just, I don't know, overall, I'm really, really impressed with everything. I hope you are as well. Let me know in the comments. Curlia as the reverse, the first reverse. We have Palmy as the second and a cloth all right, cloth. Yeah, I'm just going to call it cloth as that hollow. All right, last pack from this box here. So I have another one to go through. Uh, again, I can't really tell if these code cards are good or bad. You guys let me know. Uh, hopefully, you're actually able to claim the codes. I know some people are saying there's a little bit of a delay on it once a new set comes out. So hopefully, that's live by now. Bisharp as the first reverse. Hound Doom as the second. That looks absolutely sick. And behind that, nice. <laughs> okay, there we go. Another EX gladly take that we have core radon uh, i'm just going to call it that recorded on ex absolutely beautiful card there let me sleeve that up real quick um i know i probably shouldn't be sleeving these up and i should be hustling a little bit mainly just because um, i didn't let my lighting fully charge after the last one uh, and yes i could probably just plug it in but uh yeah i'm lazy and i don't have an outlet on either one of these side walls here so yeah, if uh, light goes out, then we still have another one that has decent charge on it. So uh, we'll just keep rolling. But uh, here we go. Another six packs. Again, you can see the pulls on the table so far. We're absolutely killing it. And uh, hopefully it continues here. Let's get right into it. Let me move these on screen. There we go. Um, also, I kind of mentioned this in the first video. But uh, let me know in the comments of this one as well and going forward. Do the, does the pack actually feel different to you guys? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like it's like more waxy. Uh, I don't know, just something like a different design. Maybe it has to do with like whatever paint that they used or the print, the ink, whatever. I don't know. It just feels different. Uh, Katie as the first reverse. We have uh, Armor Rogue as the second reverse. And a Quaquavel. Quaquavel. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, Quaquavel as the hollow rare. I don't think we pulled that one in the first opening. Um, but yeah, it was kind of cool getting the binder set up again, especially with all these reverses, um, everything like that. Hopefully, you know, that code card thing isn't spoiling anything for you. I, again, I can't tell if it's making a difference. Um, I had some packs that had the white code card, and this one has the black rimmed code card and never had an issue where I was pulling stuff from both. So I, I don't know. Metatite as the first reverse, Scovit as the second, and a Klefki. There's actually some pretty good value for Klefki. Uh, so if you're pulling it, um, and I'm, I'm assuming because it's playable, uh, definitely hold on to it. Or if you're trying to build a new deck with all the new cards, it's definitely one to use. All right, here we go. One to the front. All right, uh, let me know what you guys think of the new energy designs also. I haven't really seen anyone talk about that. Obviously, most people just kind of throw the energies in the trash or put them off to the side. But, uh, it, hey, you know, at least they're making new designs for those, right? It's kind of neat. <clears throat> Pavilion as the first reverse. Primeape as the second. I'm so glad Primeape finally has an evolved form now. If you haven't seen it, it's really sick. And behind it is a Professor's Research Hollow. Very nice. But, 
yeah, uh, again, I'm really enjoying this generation so far. I know I'm only two openings in, but uh, I'm really, really excited. I couldn't wait till, uh, you know, to tomorrow to start recording all the other stuff. So I've just been on a roll after that first opening, let some stuff charge up a little bit and get right back into it. Love that hypno artwork, by the way. Um, but uh, yeah, so when this video is live, I'm probably out uh, trying to find more stuff especially <clears throat> heading up, uh, I don't know, maybe about half an hour for me, trying to get a booster box from this set. If I do end up getting it, which I think their price is fair compared to what I've seen online and in other places. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but if they still have one, I'm definitely going to pick it up and maybe we'll crack into that into mo and you know for Sunday, Monday opening. Uh, and then I still have the three-pack blisters and ETBs uh, going into next week. So yeah, stay tuned. A lot of Scarlet and Violet base set for you. Silicobra as the first reverse. Varum as the second. Nice. Bayonet EX. Very, very nice. I'll gladly take that. Number 88 of 198. And again, that is one of your double rares. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to these, but obviously uh, I'll make sure I always have the picture pulled up on my computer, which is over this way, uh, just so I can reference it. Um, I really want to do another live stream at some point. Um, as much as I want to do Scarlet and Violet, I'd rather just keep doing this in small openings unless I get like a whole bunch of, of stuff in. Um, but I have a full case or pretty much full case of Brilliant Stars that I still need to rip. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. If you don't, then I'll just rip it on my own and I'll post the polls later. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I really want to get into it. It's been sitting under this desk for too long. All right, Graveyard as the first reverse. Starly as the second. And in our... Uh, let me see if I can get this right. Because um, it's like Olive, Olivia, uh, our Oblivia, Oliv our, our Bolivia. Yeah, we're just going to go with uh, our Bolivia. Um, yeah, that's insane. Anyway, I'm spending too much time trying to pronounce names. Here we go, last pack. So the first box was definitely an absolute destroyer of boxes here. Let's see if we can get one awesome hit to end off on. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I normally don't post on Saturdays, but uh, Road Tom unfortunately made a return. Um, but with a brand new set, I wanted to do it right and just get as much content out as I could. Plus, I want to open up all this stuff. I don't want it just sitting on the desk waiting for Monday and Wednesday, so on and so forth. Crow Gunk as the first reverse. Electric Generator as the second. See, even the trainer cards have a really nice reverse pattern. And what are we going to end off on? a rever room hollow very very nice so again you get hollows in every pack so uh, as much as i like seeing hollows especially for a new set it's the higher stuff i want to get so uh, that's going to do it for this one obviously again all the hollows that we got here not too bad there we've got a couple ex's super excited about that toxic croak uh Cor Corridon, and um <clears throat> we have Bennett or Benetti ex very very beautiful cards there and of course you know, the gold nest ball. So my second gold already. Super excited about that. And the Don's, Don Dozo trainer. I'm sorry. I want to say trainer gallery. It is the, let me make sure I'm saying this right. This is the illustrator rare or the art rare. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Wacko Backo. Take it easy.